And while at the scene, Fox 5 talked with people who were either staying or working near where the shots were fired. As Mike Allen reports, they were a bit shaken up, but mostly because of the inconvenience that the shooting caused. I couldn't go back to sleep and I just heard more commotion and more commotion. That's when I just seen a flood of cops, SWAT. Valerie Ramirez came to Las Vegas from Orange County, California to ring in the new year, but she got a rude awakening Sunday morning from sirens blaring outside after shots rang out across the street from where she's staying. We just looked out, we just kept looking out the window and just saw nothing but cops and ambulances and everything like that. So yeah, it was pretty intense and it was pretty, it looked like it was pretty serious. On top of that, she felt a bit trapped. Ramirez was on lockdown, so we weren't able to leave. While Ramirez was unable to leave her hotel, another couple of visitors couldn't get in. We flew in from Australia. We went out on the town. Our Uber driver was not allowed into our apartment because there were police. Bridget Butler and her sister hadn't slept for 36 hours after a cross Pacific flight. Their mother came with them and turned into bed early, and for a few hours Sunday morning, the two parties were separated. Basically, this is an active shooter. Our mom's stuck in the hotel. We have no idea what's going on. It's currently 10.30 a.m. We have not been inside the hotel yet. We have no idea what's going on. Other people were moved around during the investigation, with one person telling Fox 5 he was led into a conference room at the Signature with about 50 other people by SWAT teams to keep safe. Mike Allen, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. Fox 5 also talked with a woman who works just a block away from where the shots were fired. She said she did not feel safe heading into New Year's Eve on the Strip.